Hey guys, three things that I know that are super important for anybody wanting to run an online business are traffic, content, and authority. Unfortunately, these are three things that are super hard for people just getting started to get. Making good content is not an easy task in any way. And being an authority figure in your space is something that you have to build up over time. The problem is, without those two things, you can't get any traffic in the first place. Well, in the next few minutes, I'm going to show you the cloud-based software that allows anybody to get instant content, traffic, and authority at the push of a few buttons. Let's take a look at it right now. I want to give you a quick overview of cloud-based SuperJacker software. So SuperJacker is a software that allows you to hijack other people's websites so that way you can steal their content and their authority and use it in your business to build your email list, to sell your own products, or to do affiliate marketing. Let me go ahead and show you exactly how it works. Now SuperJacker is actually broken up into two distinct sections. The first is going to be the My Slide section. In the My Slide section, this is where you build your call to action slides that you're going to put over other people's websites. Let me go ahead and show you how this works right now. Now slides are things that you're going to put over the sites that you jack, or you can embed slides on your own web pages as well. In order to get to the My Slides section, simply click on the My Slides button in the upper navigation bar. It's then going to show you a page that's similar to this. Simply go ahead and click on Create New. Enter in a name for your slide. I'll just call this a Second Test. Click on Save. And then you can go ahead and edit your slide. When you edit your slide, it's going to bring you to the Drag and Drop Slide Builder. The Drag and Drop Slide Builder is fully widget based. So if you want to add one of these elements, which you can see what they are by mousing over them, simply left click on the widget and then drag it into the content area. You can see the content area here because there's a black box around it. Drag it in there by holding the left mouse button in and then release the left mouse button when you have the widget where you want it positioned. This is then going to bring up the options menu for that particular widget. Fill in the options and then click on the create link. Each widget is going to have its own particular options that make sense for that widget. So I'm just going to go ahead and enter in some button text real quick. I'll call it my test button. I'll have it clickable so people go to my personal blog when they click on it. I'll go ahead and select a font that I want. I'll choose Oswald, pick my colors. Let's give it a black text with a white background. Then click on create button. And it's going to go ahead and then add my button or whichever widget I want to add into the content area. Now you can actually see this is fully drag and drop. There's a bounding box around the widget inside of the content area. You can simply left click on it, hold the mouse button in and move it around anywhere you want. You'll also notice that there are some arrows down here. If you put your mouse over the arrows, you can left click and resize the widget any way that you want as well. So this way the system is fully flexible. You can resize, drag and reposition all of your widgets that you add into your slide. The last thing I want to show about the slide editor is the settings section. Simply click on the settings button and it's then going to bring up all the settings for that slide. So the first thing is the slide name, and this of course is just for your reference only so you can remember what this slide is for. You can adjust the height of your slide to make it higher or lower. You can select your background color for your slide so you can adjust it so that way it fits the color scheme of the website that you're going to put it on or the website that you're going to jack. And you can enter in a slide delay. A slide delay is the number of seconds that the system will wait before it shows the slide over the Jack website or the website that you embed it on. Once you have all of your settings saved the way you want them, simply click on save and exit and it will return you to the your slides section of the main dashboard. Now the my Jack section is where you actually jack other people's websites. So let me go ahead and show you exactly how that works. So in order to get to the my Jack section, simply click on the my Jacks link in the upper navigation. It's going to take you to a screen that looks similar to this. 
go ahead and click on create new and I'm going to go ahead and call this my second test. Now this is just for my reference only. It's just that I can remember what this particular jack was for. I'm going to go ahead and click on save new and then I'll click on the edit button. There are only a couple of settings that I need to enter in order to jack a website. So the first thing I want to do is enter in the URL of the website that I want to jack. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to paste in an article that I found on Wikipedia that I want to jack, that I want to steal the authority from. It's then going to ask me the jack type. Now there are two types of jacks. There are a curl jack and there's an iframe jack. And I'll go ahead and make a separate training video that explains the difference between the two of them. Next it's going to ask me for a short code. Now this is the code that identifies this particular jack on the SuperJacker delivery server. It's also going to be a part of the URL of your jack. So you should enter in a relevant short code to the site that you're jacking. Now I'm jacking a Wikipedia article on marketing. So I'm going to go ahead and just enter great marketing article as my short code. Something to keep in mind. If this shows up in red, that means somebody has already claimed that short code and you won't be able to see your jack. You can see that it's showing up in green for me. That means this short code is available and I'm free to use it. The option underneath there is the link jack URL. What this option allows me to do is to jack all of the links inside of the website that I'm jacking. So not only can I jack the website, but I can actually change any links that are inside of the website to go to any URL that I want. This is a powerful tool because if there's any call to action or anything in the site that you're jacking, you can actually change those call to actions and those links to go to where you want people to go to. I do want to keep in mind though that this only works with a curl jack. It does not work with an iframe jack. So if you want to use this feature, you need to use a curl jack type. Underneath here you're going to see a drop down box that it's going to show you all of the slides that you've created. So you can actually put your slides over the websites that you jack. These slides can have call to actions in them, they can have ads in them, they can have videos in them, opt-in forms in them, anything that you want. And you can build slides in the My Slides section. If you want to add a slide into the site that you're jacking, simply click on the, the drop down box and select the slide that you want to enter. I'll go ahead and select my first test one. And there's an, also an option here to add in any retargeting code or custom code that you want in here as well. This is something that we don't provide. However, if you do have retargeting code or any type of custom code that you want to add in here, you can go ahead and add it and it will become a part of your Jacked website. Once you have all your options filled in, simply click on Save Changes. This is going to bring you back to the main dashboard and you can then go ahead and edit your Jack, delete your Jack, or you can click this button to visit your Jack on the Super Jacker unbranded site. So I'll go ahead and click on that button. It's going to take me over here and you can see the URL. It's actually, oh, there's my slide that triggered right on time, two seconds. You can see the URL is our unbranded server URL slash great marketing article because that's what I entered in for my shortcode. You can see my slide already triggered and if I would have jacked the links, all of these links could go to any website that I want as well. Also if I share this site, it's actually going to look just like Wikipedia. It's going to have the Wikipedia meta tags, it's going to have the Wikipedia logo, it's going to look just like it's Wikipedia. Now in that example, I hijacked the Wikipedia website and the reason I hijacked Wikipedia is to steal their authority. I wanted to lend their authority to my call to action in the slide that came down. People are going to be much more likely to take action on it because it looks like it's Wikipedia presenting them with that offer. So there's a lot more authority and they're a lot more likely to do the action that you want them to take. In the example I showed, it was to click a button which would have taken them to a product to buy. But it could have also been an opt-in form, it could have been anything that I wanted. Now that's one way to use the SuperJacker software. Another way is to actually hijack affiliate products that you want to promote. So you can put your bonuses and your call to actions right over other people's sales page. So what will you do with the power of SuperJacker? Well you can hijack almost any other website 
and steal its authority. You can use its content and its authority for your own marketing purposes. With the drag and drop slide builder, you can put your call to action, your video, your buy now button, or your opt-in form over other people's content using their authority to build your list and to make sales. Superjacker is going to get anybody instant content, instant authority, and with those two things comes traffic. So if you're just getting started and you're finding it difficult to have high quality content, if you're finding it difficult to build up your authority, and if you're finding it difficult to get traffic, click below and get started with Superjacker so you can get all three of these things right now. Oh, my God.